Hello everyone, Mr. G here. Today, I'm in the Morrison Formation to talk about our second animal. It's the second most famous dinosaur, and it's famous for its plates and spikes. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus means roof lizard, and it got that name because when it was first discovered, its plates were believed to have leaned on its back like a roof. However, eventually it was found out that they pointed upwards, meaning that their name is now an artifact. Stegosaurus was a member of the Stegosaur family, and it was a herbivore. It lived during the late Jurassic, and its bones have been found in the United States of America and in Portugal. Stegosaurus was discovered in 1877 by famous paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh, and like every dinosaur at the time, it was given a droopy tail. I'll talk more about why dinosaurs had droopy tails in a later video. Stegosaurus was around 29 feet long and was famous for being covered in plates and spikes. While the spikes were definitely used for defense, the plates are still a mystery to this day. When they were first discovered, they were thought to be a defense mechanism as well. However, they would have most likely been way too flimsy for that. Then it was theorized that they were either a way to regulate temperature, or they could be full of blood in order to scare off predators. However, both these theories got discredited once it was found out that their plates would have been covered in keratin, which means that it would have been terrible at regulating heat, and it wouldn't be able to show blood through them. So, even to this day, the Stegosaurus plates are still an anomaly. Also, there was once a theory that Stegosaurus is actually a sexual dimorphism, with males having more pointed plates and females having rounded plates. Although this theory is still being debated and nothing is concrete about it yet. Now, one thing that you might think you know about Stegosaurus is the size of its brain. However, contrary to popular belief, Stegosaurus did not have brains the size of walnuts. They were actually a bit bigger than that, being actually the size of a lime. However, it is true that Stegosaurus brains were pretty small in comparison to their body. In fact, for the longest time, since paleontologists couldn't figure out a way how a creature with a brain that small could survive, it was believed to have had a second brain in, the, in its hips. Yes, really. Anyway, this theory eventually got discredited after it was found out that what was thought to be a collection of hips was actually a blank spot that a lot of modern-day birds have as well, and those spots are usually used as fat reserves. So, it was not a second brain af at all. And also, as other paleontologists pointed out, no other vertebrae ever has had more than one brain. Like most plant-eating dinosaurs, Stegosaurus had a beak, which it used to grab onto plants and force it into its mouth, where it would then chew it up and swallow it. Currently, there is no evidence that Stegosaurus used gastrolifes. They are perfectly capable of chewing. Now, if all those facts out of the way, let's see how it compares to the cards. As you can see, they gave Stegosaurus a green coloration. I'm not sure why this is such a common color choice, but it is. One thing I noticed right away is, this, is the way its spikes are positioned. While well, yes, Stegosaurus spikes were placed sideways, they were tilting up a little, as that would have been the optimal position in order to gore, in order to gore predators. But here, they seem to be flat on the side, which wouldn't have been much help. Also, I think its plates are out of order. They seem to be only going in a straight line, but it's hard to tell due to the angle it's sitting at. Also, due to the angle it's at, it looks like it doesn't even have a beak. It just looks like it kind of has a derpy-looking mouth. Something I find weird is that the back card illustration is a lot more accurate. I mean, it actually has a beak, and its plates seem to be more accurate. Was the back card drawn by a completely different person than the front card? I have no idea what's going on here. Also, the back claims that the plates were used for a thermoregulation, but as I said earlier, that would have been impossible due to them being covered in keratin. Overall, in terms of holding up today, I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. Now let's talk about Stegosaurus' appearances in pop culture. Just like T-Rex, since there are so many of them, I'm only going to talk about a few of them. In the Jurassic Park series, Stegosaurus first appeared in the first novel, where at one point, the group comes across a sick Stegosaurus that it, that it turns out is, has food poisoning from eating poisonous plants. However, in the movie, it was replaced with a Triceratops for unknown reasons. And although it didn't appear in the film itself, its name is seen next to a jar of embryo. Although it's misspelled as Stegosaurus instead of Stegosaurus. 
Stegosaurus actually appeared in the flesh in the second film, where our main characters come across a baby Stegosaurus, but then its herd mistakes them for a threat and starts to attack them. Ever since that point, Stegosaurus has only been a background dinosaur, although I'd like to draw attention to its appearance in Jurassic World, where for some reason it has a droopy tail. I do not get why it has a droopy tail. No other dinosaurs in this series have ever had a droopy tail, and the Jurassic Park series is what helped the public realize that dinosaurs didn't have droopy tails, so why do Stegosauri in this movie have droopy tails? I don't get it. But other than that, Stegosaurus have appeared in basically every Jurassic Park supplementary material, with only very few exceptions. In the Land Before Time franchise, one of the main characters is a young Stegosaurus named Spike, or, as the species is called in the movies, Spike Tails. A Stegosaurus attacks the main characters in King Kong for a bit, and then it disappears from the plot. Stegosaurus is an adoptable animal in the PC game Zoo Tycoon, and its sequel, famous movie monster Godzilla has Stegosaurus plates on his back. A fictional species of Stegosaurus called Stegosaurus Regium appears in the video game Ark Survival Evolved as a tameable animal. And finally, Stegosaurus appear in the Rite of Spring segment of Fantasia, first appearing walking under some leaves that combies are running over, later fighting a T-Rex and losing, and finally appearing alongside other dinosaurs marching to extinction. Yeah, this portrayal hasn't held up very well since the plates are portrayed as going in rows instead of overlapping, and the movie portrays it as being incapable of running from predators, when they were actually fairly agile beasts considering their size. But much like T-Rex, this was a pretty accurate portrayal for the 40s, so I can't fault them too much, it's just that time has really not helped this segment very well. Also, I just need to say this, T-Rex and Stegosaurus were not contemporaries. The time gap between Stegosaurus and T-Rex is actually bigger than the time gap between T-Rex and humans. That's all for today's episode. I'll see you next time when I take my first foray into the ocean and talk about a very hard-headed fish with a razor-sharp blade for a tooth. Until next time, I'm Mr. G, signing off.